Word to Big Bird! Another episode of People's Lima, EML Socks for Life, coming at ya! Live from the basement. <laughs> Eric Lima is the real name. What's up? How you guys doing out there? Um, people, now you guys are wondering, what's with the hoodie? Well, this is not only just an ordinary hoodie, it's a Tanuki Sue hoodie. It's a, today, I'm wearing it to address the situation where PETA has decided to target this game here. I bought the booklet because I love the pictures. Super Mario 3D Land, and I saw some of the videos of it. This book's pretty rad, so uh, I can't buy. Three, I can't afford 3DS right now. It's kind of pricey, so I'm gonna wait till that price dies, dies down a little bit. Dirt Pita is targeting Super Mario 3D Land for the use of the Tanuki suit. Are you serious? And Pita, guys, guys, I appreciate you standing up for animal rights and all. I mean, I know you. Uh, but you've been known to take things to the extreme and going crazy, coming up with absurd, you know, I ideas. About, and, but a tanuki suit? A tanuki suit. Come on, it's just a suit. What were you guys in 1990 when Super Mario 3 came out? It had a tanuki suit, it had a frog suit. Heck, Mario's been stomping on turtles since 19 freaking 85, or even earlier than that, due to the Mario Brothers game. And you, and you guys use now to target them because of that. What you know? You know why you add it? Why don't you target Legend of Zelda because you, because Link killed a crab or a spider? I mean, you kidding me? Or a freaking pig and a warthog and Ganon for goodness sake? And you. Uh, you guys are unbelievable. Dudes, guys, stick with the real animal problems in the real world. Don't freak, don't, don't target gamers. I mean, you guys are unbelievable. Don't target gamers. Come on, please. Are you serious? That means I'm wearing, if you see me wear this throughout the street, are you going to grab me, grab me and then beat the crap out of me and spray paint it? When are you going to now go to the, the GameStop stores and spray paint? The, they're saying animal killers and all that. You guys are crazy. Chill out. At least, you know, at least Pamela Anderson is is not as crazy as you guys. And she uh, she's a, um, always stands up for Peter and, and animal rights. She's a vegetarian and all that. But I respect, you know, at least Pamela Anderson does, it, um, does things... You know, um, tackles issues like this in a diplomatic way, you know, animal cruelty and all, I mean, I appreciate the fact that, uh, at least, at least Pamela does it the right way, in a diplomatic way, she's not crazy like some of you PETA folks out there, you know, I'm, I'm sure there's some celebrities out there that do things the diplomatic, diplomatic they really represent, uh, because of what they do, they need, they, they're a lot smarter than that, and PETA, why don't you follow that example, okay, I mean, Pamela Anderson wrote a letter to the governor, this is back uh, a few years back, of Kentucky to have the, the bust of uh, Colonel Sanders be, be removed. And, you know, and that's and she did. She wrote a letter. PETA. To the folks of PETA. Whoever, whoever came up, whoever in PETA came up with this idea, as, you know, probably was mad because Santa did not get, get him or her the Super Mario 3 game. So it's like, or Nintendo ran out of the game, and so she decided to take it out on Nintendo. Guys, whatever the reason, please leave the games alone. Stick with the real-life problems, all right? Stick with the real-life animal problems. Don't worry about Nintendo. Be fine. All right, now, next issue. Um, give me just one minute, folks. There we are. Oh, yes, you noticed the shirt, didn't you? Well, guess what? You know, it's a shirt. It was at, you know, not only, this shirt's already out. Not only it's at Hot Topic. I mean, no, excuse me. Not only is that WWE Shop.com, it's also at Hot Topic. Ladies and gentlemen, it's at, it's at your local Hot Topic. Go pick one up today. These things will be selling like hotcakes knowing that it's the holiday season. So, knowing it's the holiday season, you know, team bring it. And then you turn around, it has, what, you see? See right there? Boots to asses. That's what it is. All right. Also pre-ordered my Zack Ryder Broski t-shirt. Also, I also like Zack Ryder. His shows are pretty funny on YouTube. Check it out, Long Island IZ. Check it out, check it out, check it out. It's a pretty funny show. His dad's funny. His um his be uh, his best friend there, uh, Chia Petta. Very cool. The Big O, funny as heck. 
he always works hard. He wants to show that he wants to make it to the WWE. That's 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 called bringing it. Big O, big ups to you. And also, uh, Dolph Ziggler, what a baby. Dolph Ziggler's a prima donna whiny baby. All right, this is the Broski T-shirt. Pick this up also at Hot Topic locally if you uh, happen to be in the area. Go to your local Hot Topic, pick it up. All right, the Broski T-shirt on the on the back. Are you serious, bro? That's it. That's that's the game. And speaking of, uh, are you serious, bro? I gotta talk to uh, little John. I got a bone to pick with John Laurinaitis. Now, I appreciate the fact that John Morrison, you know, everybody, you know, everybody's been uh, pulling for Morrison and Ryder. All right, and that's great. You know, Morrison and Ryder deserve a chance to be more on TV time. And uh, but Morrison's worked on. Morrison's been in the WWE longer than Ryder. That's where you know that could be the experience coming to fact, and that's what John Laurinaitis must be thinking. But at the same time. Laurinaitis is, um, you know, thinking that, you know, he stopped the streak. Hopefully, it'll keep going. So, it would be, no, but it would be an interesting feud if Morrison went up against Ryder. You know, battle, well, stars, fan favorites, and all that, and respect. And I said, Zach Ryder would have a bone to pick with him because his father shunned him for John Morrison and all that good stuff. So, it'll be very interesting to see how the situation goes down. But, you know, at least Laurinaitis could have done is make it a triple threat match. Maybe, then, then you, now everybody can be happy. But Morrison has a shot. We'll see what happens. You know, you know, Ryder had this uh, tw um, Twitter petition going for him to get a title shot. It looks like Lauren Ice has been ignorant. I think something's wrong with Lauren Ice up here. Lauren Ice is, you know, you know, not seeing what's going on. Either that, or he's being totally stupid. You know, I'm John Lauren Ice, the executive vice president of Title Relations. This is shut up, Super Dave Lauren Ice. Just sign Zack Ryder to a triple threat match, will ya? You know, you know. I respect Morrison. He's a good player and all, but come on, um, all right. please. All right, all right. Last thing, last thing on the docket once again is uh, the holiday season. I'm trying to think of um, the holiday season. I'm looking forward to the holiday season like everyone else. To me, Thanksgiving kicks off the holiday season. All right, my work schedule next week is going to be a little different. I'll be working the first three days at the North Dar at the Dartmouth Mall. Uh, 6 to 11 on Monday, 6 to 12 on Tuesday, and 6 to 11 on Wednesday. Leaving me 6 to 8 on Thursday. So the first three the, the three hours I lose on Thursday is filled up right there. And plus Friday I, I can get out at 10 o'clock. And probably the challenge is the traffic. So I'm going to have to be on the lookout for that. And if I go anywhere else, I'm going to have to be on the lookout for craziness, that's for sure. And Saturday works 6 to 12, which is pretty cool. So, everything is covered there. Thanksgiving, I'm looking forward to it. I, I've always liked Thanksgiving to watch football. Last year, the New England Patriots laid the smackdown on the Detroit Lions. This year, however, is Detroit and Green Bay, so it'll be very interesting. And it's a big to-do about banning Nickelback from playing at halftime on Thanksgiving. Hmm, I wonder what that's all about. I don't have any information on that. I'll let you know why when I get to it. And I'm looking forward to the um, holiday season, the Christmas, of course. Christmas is my all-time favorite holiday. Thanksgiving second to it. Because Thanksgiving, to me, is the leadoff hitter. It's like, it's like, Thanksgiving is like the Jacoby Ellsbury of holidays. And Christmas is like uh, the Kevin, U uh, Adrian Gonzalez, Big David Ortiz, or Kevin Euclid, depends on who batting fourth in that line, is the cleanup hitter for the holidays. And and then you talk about the ninth inning being New Year's Eve slash New Year's Day. So that's the way I see it. So no basketball in the NBA so far. So bigger slap nuts to them then. You know, PETA in the NBA. Crazy people, I'm telling you. Well, another thing, um, uh, what is, you know, I like to ask you what's your favorite um, Thanksgiving food, part of Thanksgiving meal, or what's your favorite moment of Thanksgiving besides family and friends? What do you think, what are you, what are you thankful for this year? Or thank you for in life, you know. Please comment on that. Um, I'm already, I would appreciate to see, hear what you guys have to say about it. I'm, uh, if you want to know what I'm thankful for, it's family, friends, you know. And, you know I miss a lot of my friends. Uh, thankful for the, um, thankful for my job, thankful for the people in my church, thankful for the Lord for giving me the, uh, the ability to live, and thankful for um, how, um, my health. Uh, thankful for the people that love me, so. I'm thankful for that. Look forward to the holiday season as usual. Christmas. What is your favorite all-time favorite Christmas present? I got two tied. 
for 1A. 1A has to be 1990 when I got Super Mario 3 for the Nintendo Entertainment System. I was really excited. I dashed upstairs, pulled it out. And said, you know what? Babe? Hold on just one second, folks. Just one second. Here it is, man. Here it is. Oh, no, that was, see? Still, st I st it still got the box. Still got the famous box. Whoop. Yep. Still, I still got it. How cool is this? I still got the freaking box. See, see. Yep, it's it's still it's still in there. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, check this out. Check it out. Check it out. Check it out. Check it out. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Alright, let me put this back. I got another thing to show you. Just give me just bear with me. Oh, you know what? Two more things. And uh where are they? Ah, here they are. Two more things, two more things. Uh, 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 for Christmas, I got the Tetris games for Christmas. Tetris games, man. Yep, got this one. But got this for Christmas too. Got this for Christmas. Yeah, awesome games, awesome. And they still work. You know what? Without the help of the RF switch, that would have been on regular TVs, big screen TV. You can use the Nintendo system without it. The RF switch. You know, you channel three and four. You don't need that. Don't need that here. As long as you have the cables, red and yellow, audio video cables. You're good to go. All right. Big screen TVs and old school Nintendo systems. Blend in the old school with the new school. That always goes well. It's called remastering, baby. That's how you work it. Now, one more thing. A Christmas gift that my parents gave me last year. <clears throat> and uh, give me one second here. Yeah. yeah, my room's a mess. Don't worry about it. My room's a mess. It's always been a mess. Alright, let's give it one second, folks. One second here. Bear with me here. Bear with me. I know I, I come up with the lamest videos ever on the planet, but you know what? You know what? BAM! Right there. That's what I got for last year for Christmas. I'm keeping the box because it's it's so freaking cool. The red Wii bundle. The best thing at, you know, the, the best Christmas present that my parents have given me. Thank you so, thank you so much, mom and dad. You guys rock and roll with this thing. So, wee! It's for you. Effects, effects, sound effects. Oh, so, this is this is the most awesome thing I ever got. So, that's that's one. It's really cool. Awesome. Running new school with old school, I say. All right, and I am back. <laughs> so that is. I make sure. All right. So, yeah, I have a messy room. Uh, what? That'll be one of my New Year's resolutions. Clean this room up, for goodness sakes. <laughs> so, well, that is all, that's all the news for today. My name is Eric Lima, a.k.a. The People's Lima. Check me out on my YouTube. Comment, like, if, if you want to, and dislike them. Or be honest, you know, give me your honest opinion, you know. Don't don't say anything really stupid, you know. Don't, no swearing, please. I appreciate that, you know. Constructive criticism is pretty nice too. I'm not, I don't make the best videos ever, but this is this is who I am. This is what I do. This is who I am, and I'm proud of who I am. All right, I'll check you guys later. All right, you guys. If I don't see you next week, if I don't put another episode next week, have a good Thanksgiving. Have a blessed Thanksgiving. You know, much love and uh, much love and um, pray for your uh, traveling safety upon your relatives. Pray for that you know nothing happens, and you know. Make every one of your family and relatives uh, safe and sound. And please, and please be cool to each other. It'd be awesome. Be rocking awesome. See ya. Peace out.